ભાડે ચંદ્રકાંત ટોપીવાલા અને ચીનુભાઈ મોદી તેઓ સૌ આપણી સાથે આજે અહીંયા કવિતાના વિદ્રોહ માટે જોડાયા ગુજરાત લિટરેચર ફેસ્ટિવલ તરફથી હું આપ સૌનો આભાર માનું છું થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ એ ક્લોઝિંગ ફોર ધ બ્રેક કોઈ પણ વ્યક્તિઓને હજી મનમાં પ્રશ્નો હોય તો એ ધ પોઇટ્સ આર ગોન ટુ બી હિયર અરાઉન્ડ તો તમે the the famous book was written me, me, matter and memory and within almost 100 years aaj kale universities ma aap jao to sauthi moti demand speaker rite ane scholar rite film maker ni hoy che basically after the establishment of film studies as a discipline in 1980s sawal જે સૌથી મોટું જે આપણે સામે છે આ છે કે આ જે ફિલ્મ છે શું ફિલ્મ ઇન્ફેક્ટ હેઝ બિકમ અ મેટફર ફોર ઓલ આર્ટ્સ કમ્બાઇન્ડ ઇન વન તો પહેલાં જેને આપણે સાહિત્યને સીમિત અર્થમાં કહેતા હતા કે સાહિત્યને વાંચવું છે એને માટે સાહિત્યને વાંચવાની જરૂર છે વિચાર માટે બટ ખરેખર સાહિત્ય વિચારને વિચાર રીતે પેશ કરતો નથી બેસ્ટ પોઇટ્રી ઇઝ થોટ એન્ડ આર્ટ ઇન વન બટ ઇન બેસ્ટ પોઇટ્રી થોટ ઇઝ નોટ પ્રેઝન્ટેડ એઝ થોટ થોટ ઇઝ પ્રેઝન્ટેડ આર્ટિસ્ટિકલી એટલા જે આપણા સાહિત્ય પ્રેમીઓ અહીંયા હશે તો એક જોન કિડ્સની કવિતા છે ઓટ ટુ ગ્રેસી એન તો ઓટ ટુ ગ્રેસી એન આખી કવિતા ફિલોસોફી છે પોઇટ્રી છે પણ છેલ્લી બે લાઈનો ઉપર બહુ વિવાદ છે બ્યુટી ઇઝ ટ્રૂથ ટ્રૂથ બ્યુટી હકીકત આ છે કે આ પોઇટ્રી નથી દેટ ઇઝ ફિલોસફી વોટ ગુડ ફિલ્મ ડુ ઇઝ ગુડ ફિલ્મ કમ્બાઇન થોટ એન્ડ આર્ટ ઇન વન વેધર ઇટ ઇઝ ઇન ઇન ધી ફોર્મ ઓફ લિટરરી વર્ક ઓર ઇન વોટ એવર વે સો લિટરેચર જે આપણું આને માટે જ આપણું શબ્દ છે સાહિત્ય ઇન્ફેક્ટ નો આર્ટ વિથ એની પર્પઝ સાહિત્ય સાહિત્ય સાથે જે કોઈ કલા હોય તે સાહિત્ય એન્ડ ફિલ્મ પરફેક્ટલી ફિટ્સ ઇન ટુ દેટ મને આઈ ફીલ વેરી હેપી દેટ ધ ફિલ્મ દેટ એન્ડ ધ ફિલ્મ મેકર હુ ઇઝ વિથ મી વી શેલ બી ડિસ્કસિંગ is a film much talked about and uh, ship of theseus mane lage chhe ki mota bhage je aap baat thi hase aaj film joyi hase apni kitla ne joyi chhe oh my goodness and the baat the audience is extremely educated because you know usually the commercial films are films are measured in terms of how many crores they have earned I tell you, your one hand was worth one crore. Because ship of Theseus is made in centuries. It is not made every day. Ship of Theseus is perhaps, uh, you may forgive me for exaggeration, ship of Theseus is second best thing to happen after my experiments with truth and uh, i can i can give my my arguments for this halaki aap badha ma passe na to dhairi che na samay che aaj but what happens in ship of pcs is aapne badha ne khabar che ke pcs upar plot aake chhodi lagi અને જ્યારે એક જહાજનું નિર્માણ થાય તો આના પ્લેન વન આફ્ટર અધર આ બદલાતા રહે છે અને બદલાયા પછી ત્યારે એવું બને કે ક્યારે એક એક સ્ટેજે એક પણ આનું પ્લેન જૂનું રહેતું નથી તો જેને ફિલ્મો જોઈ હશે આમાં એક ત્રીજી લાઇન છે ફિલ્મની આ રિટર્ન ફોર્મમાં છે ફિલ્મ ફોર્મમાં નથી અને આ લાઇન છે ઇઝ ધીસ ધ સેમ શેપ the ship it, the ship is not the same evi rite evi rite apne nadi ma dubki lagadiye 
the moment we come out, neither water is the same nor you are the same. Change is inevitable, change is the rule of life. And the Bharati Darshan is the chakra of the Darshan. The Nataraj is the temple of the Konark temple. The chakra is the chakra of the Pahyama. Every spoke is changed. The same thing is that the Juna is the same thing as the Juna is the same thing. And there comes a time where not even a spoke remains the same. I personally feel that it is a beautiful mixture of Eastern and Western minds and mythologies. And I would like to say the film basically and the filmmaker. Uh, I'm saying filmmaker because uh, I'm about perception of the life. Maharaj Eva, the common audience, the common darshak, for us heroes and heroines are important. But the question is, who is the author of the film? Film to mood, author concept. If, if somebody had to ask me and the answer if I had to give, answer would be, it is the director who is the author of the film. Shakespeare study no matter what about that again. If Shakespeare were alive today, then what would he be doing? Today Shakespeare jinda ho to Shakespeare shu kar. Shakespeare. Little less than that. Not 600. Yeah. But he would have been a Shakespeare would have been a film director, which is you know. The greatest tribute to Shakespeare comes from Bollywoodization of Shakespeare and Shakespeareization of Bollywood. आपने जो ओंकारा पची मकबूल अथवा तो हैदर अने घड़ी जी जो ही है शे आप अधि दे आर द एविडेंस फॉर इट। But how to metaphorize an idea? एक विचार ने दर्शन सारू लगे बात करता, but दर्शन ने रूपक मा कह रही थे ले जाओ। it is not an easy thing. One has to be a philosopher and equally great creative artist to organize that thought into, into art form. And Anand Bhai has done that in this particular film, film. If somebody has to point me out, if, I, if somebody asks me to point out amongst most memorable moments, आप बताने जो ही चाहे तो मैंने खबर नहीं किया मैं फिर बतावानु वो केटलो उपयोगी रहे हैं केटलो नहीं रहे हैं पर दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल फिल्म एंड इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू डिस्कस ब्यूटीफुल थिंग ब्यूटी इज इनेक्सप्लेकेबल प्लेटो ने एक जगह एक शब्द एक लाइन प्रयोग करी शे एंड प्लेटो सेस all that is beautiful is difficult. And I can use the same line for this film. And in this film, that most beautiful moment, Anand Bhai Jai Chhe, Mane Lagyo Ki Jai Jai Sentipet, Atwa To Kan Khajura Jai Chhe, You would have seen that moving, and then Pachi Ek Leaf Ufar Jai Chhe. Do you have seen it? Yaad Chhe Na? Now, that is the point where the filmmaker is metaphorizing what is art. Ek Varta Ati related se, ek Bedko and a Kan Kajuro. Ah, Satyata and a Kan Kajuro Chalto, the centipede. The Bedka and a Spokyo. And a dead kind of push you, how beautifully you walk. So, Pachi Kan Kajuro, Potani Dharaf, it looked at its legs, Potani, Yabadi saw deadly Pagase, Anitra Joyo. And when Jare Kan Kajuro and Potana Pago for Joyo, Pachi confused Thaijaise, and Java Vapta Karta Padijaise. So, when centipede falls, 
when it is asked the question, how did it work? Chalti ke rite hati. I would put it to Anand Bhai then. Kyunki Anand Ji, Trani Ji narrative chhe ama, Darshan na is tarayya ta bija na is tarayya ane pachi aviye. How did he do this wedding of aesthetics, aesthetics, ethics, and and the questions of existence. Uh, basically, these ideas and the way you uh, the way you metaphorize this these ideas into this narrative. Um, well, thank you so much. I mean, uh, just the. Uh, uh, you've been very generous in in uh, in, in your in, in the way you embrace the film and तुम्हारो बधानो जाबार है यहाँ उपस्थित हो मारे बारा मारे यहाँ अहमदाबाद में आओ वो वच एटलूच कीमती जैसे जब प्रोफेसर है किधर एविटेज थे के वर्ष में एटली ओछा मोचो एक भी बार आवी जो तो तो पाचो गुजराती मा तत्व तत्व ज्ञान ना सवाद ने दर्शन ना सवाद केवल ना करीश का ही पाचो सीखा मरी जाए क्योंकि वसुई दही जगे गुजराती मारा नानी मासा दे वो रोज बात करो जी गुजराती माने मारी मम्मी सादे रोज गुजराती में बात करो जी पर पर ये फोन पर नहीं तरंग मिलेट नहीं जे नो जे वार्ता लाभ चे मा एम अपन दर्शन विचार चे अपन ये प्रकार नो नहीं चेने थी मने मरी भाषा ठीक था चे अने आ मने बो जरूर चे करवानी करेंगे भाषा इवॉल्व नहीं थी मने वो लागे चे वो रॉन्ग हो चुके हुई ये वो मानवा मा पर मने लागे चे के छेला छेला घना दायिका मा भाषा नो गुजराती भाषा नो ने घने बाकी भारतीय भाषा वो नो इवोल्यूशन थ एनु कारण एना घना कारण होच्छ कारण के भाषा जब प्रोफेसर साहब भी किधू के भाषा पन जब जब फिल्म एक मेटाफोर्स है भाषा पन मेटाफोर्स है भाषा पन भाषा पन सिंबल्स थी बने लीजिए ने अने सिं आज जब सिंबल्स से रिप्रेजेंट करें जो आइडियाज ने आई रिप्रेजेंट करें जो मटेरियल ने मैटर ने ऑब्जेक्ट्स ने अने तो भाषा ही वो था ही ना कि मने मने वो इच्छा चाहे कि आ भाषा ही वो था ही करके बिजो कई कारण ना थी बहुत सेल्फिश कारण के करें कि मारे नान पढ़नी भाषा जी मारी मारी जन्मनी भाषा जी अंदर मारे सीख भी जन समझ भी जन एमा एम ये भाषा ने एवोल्यूशन में थोड़ू कंट्रीब्यूट करूं जे अंदर पहले मारे सीख भी I'll start with the last thing that you said, you spoke about because it's amazing that you 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 zeroed out on that particular uh, uh, metaphor of the frog and the centipede. The frog asks the centipede how it manages to walk so beautifully with hundred feet when it can't manage to, and the centipede looks at its own feet and gets confused and topples around, or topples over its feet and never uh, is never able to walk again. Which is constantly now thinking about the feet, and so it's a beautiful story. And, uh, but the, the other elements for uh, of that story is that it was it, it was in Ship of Theseus. Uh, it's one of the deleted scenes. So if you look at the DVD of Ship of Theseus and look at the de deleted scenes, you'd find the blind photographer talking about uh, narrating the story to her boyfriend. So it was it was an important story to me, and it's amazing that you zeroed out on that particular story uh, in, in the conversation. Um, and and you you mentioned the uh, the the need to to not at least the aspiration to not be didactic, uh, which is which is a very very uh, genuine aspiration, which is a, which is a very uh, necessary aspiration for for authors to not to try and to try and create an illusion where uh, and especially in film where characters, if it's fiction, where characters are um, are participating in a world which sustains the illusion of, of the real and through that somehow managed to bring about um, the the philosophical truth or the worldview that you want to engage with um, without the characters becoming your mouthpieces. 
Um, so that is that is a great challenge, and that's a challenge uh, that was a challenge while writing the state of of thesis. But uh, just to kind of extend that a little further, for me, it was also the the challenge of translating the uh, the the intellectual to the intuitive, the the conceptual to the emotional, and uh, the and I, I I do not make this uh, distinction in a. a in a superficial way, let me elaborate on this this particular distinction. Um, and for that, I'll have to take you through a quick journey of of life. Life begins on this planet three billion years ago in form of eukaryotes, prokaryotes, um, with extremely simple programs, extremely simple if-then mechanisms developing uh, and getting stored and getting passed on from one generation to another. Over a period of billion years, life evolves enough to have enough memory of its environment. You look at a bacterium uh, and, and I'll, I'll just quickly, because I, I, there's a lot that I'd like to share before I come to the, uh, and, and there is no, there is no way for me to talk about culture without talking about evolution and without talking about biology. Um, and there's no way for, to talk about art anymore. There's no way to talk about history anymore. I mean, uh, in the last 15 years, as I see it, uh, all our humanities, all our humanities studies, all, all our, Film studies, critical thinking studies, um, uh, so sociology, uh, psychology—they uh, they need to be re-examined. The questions need to be rephrased uh, in the light of the the new inferences that the, that the sciences have provided us. In the last 15 years, we have had, and and you and again you mentioned uh, the a great breakthrough in biological thinking a century ago that informed critical thinking for a century, and similarly, evolution has informed critical thinking in a, for a century. But more so, in the last three decades, we have been able to examine the relationship, the, the very intrinsic relationship between biology and culture, between uh, how culture, ideas, being products of biology at the end, ideas are not coming in isolation, ideas do not exist in isolation, ideas are indeed a consequence of, of biological interactions, while separate from the biological interaction. So I'll, I'll, I'll break down these ideas uh, a little further in, in a moment. Uh, and how they, rep they replicate, how they mirror the paradigm of the biological functions. How memes, as Richard Dawkins coined the word in the 1970s, he coined the word meme for anything, any kind of information that is not genetically passed on. So we have two kinds of information systems. We have one information, one set of information that is passed on genetically. You are born with it. It's been passed on from one generation to the other, accumulating over a period of three billion years. Like the last three billion years, we have accumulated so much data that we have gone from a eukaryote or a bacterium to, to complex, extremely complex creatures like human beings and dolphins and, and apes and um, with, with great capacity for not just responding to the stimuli in the environment but with great capacity to learn not just that the moment you come to human beings not only do you have a great capacity to learn and store new data within the lifetime within the course of your lifetime but you have great capacity to share that data so human beings can teach you could human beings can accumulate experiences and teach the inferences, share the inferences of these experiences to other human beings and to generations ahead outside of the genetic paradigm. This information doesn't have to be passed on genetically. To give you an example, genetic information manifests in the form of uh, emotions and intuitions that have been passed on for generations. You have a silkworm. A silkworm doesn't need to know its entire existence and its role in secondary, it doesn't need to have a road map. A silkworm moves from one if then program to another. If a silkworm smells of a molecule of pheromone, it starts following the trail. It doesn't need to know any further. The silkworm goes on the trail of pheromones and at the end of the trail, the silkworm finds the female silkworm and, and is surprised by that. And, uh, and finds a mating partner and they, they mate. Now neither the female silkworm needs to know that it's a trap that she is laying 
for the male silkworm. Not the male silkworm doesn't need to know that the end of the pheromone trail will lead him to this female silkworm. They don't need to have this knowledge because knowledge is resource intensive. It takes a lot of resource. Think of this as 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 hardware. The more memory you need to store, the more hardware you would need, the more hard drives you would need, and the more hard drives you need, the more money you would have to spend. Similarly, life and biologically, knowledge is resource intensive. The more memory you would have to store, the more resources you would have to consume, the more resources you would have to be uh, at your dis you would have to have at your disposal. So memory is constantly compressed, constantly compressed, compressed and distilled to the point where it it can just be a hint, a clue. So I'll come to my next example, a herring seagull. Uh, Tim Bergen was, uh, uh, did, did some extremely sophisticated experiments with uh, herring seagulls. Now he studied, he observed that herring seagull chicks peck on their mother's beaks, peck on the beaks of the adult girls when they are ready to be fed. So he, he took herring seagull chicks and and observed this for some time and then he offered chicks a disembodied beak uh, which I hope he found lying around somewhere and did not kill a bird for uh, and he offered this chick a disembodied beak of an adult girl and invariably the stimulus of the beak would cause the same response, the same action in the, in the chick would go ahead and peck that beak. So, so dumb chick, right? Like, it, it doesn't know that, that there's no bird attached to the beak, but but it doesn't stop there. And thankfully for us, Trimbergen doesn't stop there. So he pushes the experiment for, further and replaces the whole beak with a strip, with a single tapering strip that somewhat resembles the beak. In fact, distills the whole idea of the beak down to its basic characteristics. So the beak is broad at the at the at the mouth and tapers towards the end. So he has a strip that tapers towards the end. The beak is yellow in color and has a red dot on it. So instead of a yellow base and a red dot on it, Tim Bergen experimented with a with a light base and a contrasted darker dot. So he made a white strip with a red dot on it. And then he offered this to, to the chicks. Now not only did the chicks go ahead and peck at this stick, they pecked at the stick with even even more guts, with even more energy, with even more enthusiasm, with even more uh, expectation. Now that is is a is an incredibly interesting observation, because the 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 stimuli is causing a response, but then there is another program at work. There is another, another algorithm at work that is informing the intensity of the response. And when the stimuli is being distilled down to its very pure characteristics, so the chick does the chick doesn't need to know anything more than that. The chick, chick needs to know a tapering object, an object long enough tapering towards the end, um, with a with a light base color and with a with a contrasted dot on it. That's that's enough clues. It doesn't need more clues than that because natural selection has not looked out for a possibility of a mad scientist experimenting with a, with a chicken in, in laboratories. So, so that's good enough for natural selection to have that much information encoded within the uh, that, that level of program encoded within the, within the chick. Now, uh, now what does this tell us? This tells us n number of things. One is it tells us about information compression. It tells us that we have inherited great amounts of information but because this information has to be encoded and, and, and decoded at molecular levels at, at the level of a DNA it has to be highly compressed the compression has to be really really high secondly it tells us that we have an inherent system of responding to the stimuli and the response itself will escalate if the stimulus is distilled down to its, its, its pure characteristics, its pure basics. And that's exactly what we have discovered in the, in the, in, in the modern civilization. We have, we have been constantly distilling a stimuli down to their purest basics. 
and hence created super stimuli. We have created junk food, junk religions, junk, uh, you know, junk literature, junk cinema, junk, junk culture. We have created lots of junk. Uh, why is this junk? It's junk because it does not have, it does not have the nutrition that comes along with the stimuli. Now, the, now let's look at junk food as the example here. What is junk food? Junk food is lots of fat and lots of sugar and lots of uh, uh, salt essentially. It's basically just that. Without the nutrition that comes along, if you were to eat fat and sh sugar and salt naturally, the nutrition that comes along with it has been taken off it and just and junk food is just the fat and the sugar and the salt presented to you in its in its raw and its in its distilled form, so that it gives you a stimuli uh, and creates a response that that you evolved to have. You have evolved to have this response because in forests and savanna environments, um, carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, fats, sugars, etc., are, are are rare and are ex are extremely desired and are are incentivized. And our body has evolved to have incentive mechanisms that incentivizes the consumption of uh, fat, sugar, salts, etc. But now we have learned to isolate, we have learned to isolate the stimuli from uh, and, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even coming towards the point of morally judging anything. I'm just stating facts, I'm just examining facts as they are. I'm not, I'm not making a moral judgment yet. I will. Uh, eventually, but uh, I'm not making a moral judgment yet about the the the, the junk culture we have we have invented for ourselves and and how to uh, that's that's the next stage of it. First, let's let's examine the problem and then we can probably even think of walk, walking towards a solution there. Um, so uh, so going from junk food, we'll have to jump to junk cinema. And I I wish I you know uh, the, 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 I'm jumping too many ideas. I'm jumping too many boards here. Would take a thesis. And probably, uh, as an academic, you you find yourself in this place more often than I do. That it would it would take a thesis to 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 examine a problem, and you have to do it in in a few lines. Uh, I've, I've still not learned to do it very well. Um, so so coming to junk junk literature and junk junk cinema. Now let let's go back to our example of uh, of the chick and the silkworm. The silkworm doesn't need to again understand its entire its place in the entire scheme of things. It just needs to know if pheromone follow. In in fact, the silkworm can have if then or else. Uh, computer programmers here would know what I'm talking about. Uh, it it's a very simple program. If then or else. And uh, the silkworm here at this point knows that if pheromone then then follow. But then there can be another algorithm where the silkworm could be uh, calculating the resources at, at its disposal, looking at its body and, 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 and calculating if it has enough resources to go on this trail or to, or to leave the trail. And if it finds that it doesn't have enough resources to sustain this trail, it will bow out and go hunting for food instead perhaps. Uh, another possibility is, is the, male, the male silicon on this trail and another male silicon uh, comes on the same trail and both male silicone, both the male silicones look at each other and and start racing each other for the heck of it. Again, they don't need to really understand why is it that they have this impulse to race. It's a very simple program that has that has established itself through natural selection, through millions and millions and millions of years of natural selection, which is nothing but silicones that did not race died out. So the only only ones that managed to reproduce was the one who raced. So they have this program in them. In, that that has that has been accepted into the species. So now the male silkworm looks at the other male silkworm and starts racing. If male silkworm on the same trail, then race. It's simple. And one of them wins. One of them loses out, or one of them bows out. And the one that wins reaches the female silkworm. So the female silkworm has found this great strategy of finding the male silkworm with the with the best genetic uh, material and. Uh, and the male silkworm, with the with the best genetic material, good good genes that allows it to to sustain and win through races, is the one who will end up reproducing, and hence uh, the species will will keep evolving and sustaining. Uh, emotions in human beings are an extremely complex community. And I'm jumping a big gun here. I'm jumping a few steps. I should have taken you through silkworms, and then probably chickens, and then probably. Uh, uh, Lower, you know, probably vertebrates and mammals and 
than, than human beings. But I'm j let me jump the gun here. And uh, human beings evolved in forests and savanna environments, and it takes a very very long time. It takes hundreds of generations, thousands of generations sometimes, but from mutations to to e either become a part of the species or be be completely wiped out. And we'll find within our bodies, within our own bodies, l lots of uh, lots of data, lots of information that that is vestigial. For example, the appendix. The appendix is is of no use to us anymore, but we still have the appendix. And uh, not only is not of any use to us, uh, it could it could even cause detriment to our body at some point. And at that point, it'll have to be removed. Uh, that's that's an example of vestigial a vestigial organ that has stayed on. The, the wisdom tooth or the, the tailbone, we have vestigial organs in our bodies. But similarly, we also have vestigial emotions in our bodies. Emotions that evolved for a specific purpose in the forest and savanna environment. Intuitions that evolved for a specific purpose in forest and savanna environments and are not relevant. And are not only not relevant, are probably detrimental to us in our modern living. So, so now that now that I've entered this very delicate territory, and, uh, and the moment I enter this territory, I, I see I see suspicion rise, uh, usually. And, um, so I'll, I'll I'll quickly quickly take you to the the point I'm trying to to make through all this, that we create human beings create ideas, human beings in the last thirty thousand years, and the increasingly so have found ideas to be life sustaining. Ideas that are created outside of our biological systems. Ideas that mirror our biological systems. Ideas that also variate, reproduce, um, have mate with each other, create new ideas. It's having a life of their own. Almost as if it's the ideas that are living a life and using human beings to reproduce themselves. Uh, there is there's this beautiful thing I've read somewhere. Uh, a hen is an egg's way of laying another egg. And a human being is an idea's way of making another idea. Um, it was till three decades ago, a human being is a gene's way of making another genome. And, and now I think it's a human being is an idea's way of creating another idea. Um, so, so, we, so super stimuli, uh, emotions, intuitions, and intuitions also informed by, uh, by extremely complex idea constructs that we create, society, law, politics, uh, philosophical thought, etc. All of this, as a cumulative, make this infinitely complex cumulative that that we are in in in, in the world that we have found ourselves in. Uh, this cumulative responds to the primitive and the new in a very divided and a very very interesting way. And hence, the mind versus heart versus mind conflict arises. Nature versus nurture conflict arises. Uh, emotion versus intellect conflict arises. And in that, mostly, intuition wins over because intellect again is very, very resource intensive. So this entire spiel that I, I, I had to give so far was to was to arrive at the point of why sex and violence remain to be the two paradigms that popular cinema rests upon. In spite of the the heights that we have reached as a civilization, in spite of having uh, having you know, reached Mars, and in spite of uh, having 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 attained such great amounts of self-awareness of, of of ourselves as a species, um, in spite of understanding evolution, in spite of understanding complex concepts like evolution, discovering and understanding something as complex as the as evolution, in spite of discovering something as complex as as relativity, in in spite of having discovered and understood and grasped these extremely phenomenally complex concepts about life and universe, why is it still that most of our popular literature and popular cinema rests upon the paradigms of sex and violence? And if you if you look at the, the, the role of sex and violence in, in the forest and savanna environment, in, in sustenance of life and in 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 uh, uh, in, in distribution of, of genetic material uh, we'd be able to better examine how that continues to guide our, our cinema and our literature today. Uh, just adding one last thing, and 
the and hence the need uh, and hence the the time also for cinema to evolve to its next logical state as you mentioned of of examination cinema as a tool of of reflection of examination of proposition of uh, of critique of uh, of reflection of and of of perhaps of enlightenment uh, which is which is of course what inspires me greatly uh, uh, listening to anand bhai i arrived at three conclusions and as a teacher you know you always look for that one is that he rejected education as a system i, I don't uh, if i'm not putting it properly how how bad is our education system he shows <laughs> because one who has rejected education system and can be so philosophical so scientific and so problematizing also and the uh, uh, second thing is i am pleasantly surprised that amdavad audience can be so seriously hooked to the serious stuff <laughs> and 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 and, and uh, digest it also <clears throat> uh, in fact if you look at what you were saying but one negative effect maybe the younger ones who, who who i thought would like to be a filmmaker after seeing you they might might feel little diffident because they have to be scholars first and filmmakers later on anyway <clears throat> the just to kind of add to something that you mentioned earlier uh, i was also very surprised to see that you you say that because that's one statement that i have been saying since you know since i have been attracted to the medium since was that is probably since forever and uh, you said shakespeare and i have been for the last 20 years been saying this again and again that if, if the buddha was alive today or if mahavir was alive today they would have been filmmakers in fact last year when i was here i said exactly the same thing okay, great. yeah 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 very true <laughs> in fact the questions that uh, he is posing are basically the questions that scientists are also asking like you know the person who got the nobel prize for chemistry in 2000 eric kende he was he has been basically working on what is the location of memory and working on amnesia um, and uh, to good extent he was successful anyway the point that is there is that the boundaries that used to exist said between literature science films or film as technology for technology of self i should say this Film is the technology of self. It is is also evolving gradually. Or I see that at certain point of time, this will become technology of consciousness as, as well. Because because human humanity has to evolve. Human beings have to evolve, and that consciousness, when that technology will be there, then maybe you know Michel Foucault will not have to write technologies or technology of self, but technology of consciousness. and uh, i wanted to say one thing before this audience that in the film ship of theseus anand bhai has problematized philosophy or the philosophical concepts the two three concepts that i will like to mention here and then seek his response say for instance parmenides the greek philosopher who sp spoke about the about the state of being in flux ke aa duniya mein je je che aa bad it is in a state of flux continuous change now how to how to respond to that change that's the question that is the shuruaat thi pareshan kare che this film deals with that question this question uh, this film problematizes the notion of art and beauty आई रेड समबडी सेट के चिप ऑफ थीसीएस में थोड़ी फॉल्ट छे केम के दैट यू आर ग्रेट फिल्म क्रिटिक सो कॉल्ड लाइक ऑल एकेडमिशियंस यू कैन पुट देम आल्सो इन द सेम कैटेगरी सो ही ही फाउंड फाउंड इट अ काइंड ऑफ फॉल्ट ना दी थिंग इज दैट जे आलिया जे छे फिल्म मा शी इज ब्लाइंड इंसिडेंटली ऑल थ्री नैरेटिव्स आर अबाउट डिसीजेस one is about you know cardiac infection another is about 
liver, cirrhosis, and third is kidney. So what is he doing? Is it a film of diseases? The, the thing is, we have to go back to D.H. Lawrence. And D.H. Lawrence says, Artist sheds his sickness in his art. Today, we have to say that 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 he displaces sickness and sublimates sickness into art and philosophy. कि जे जे बीमारी नो उदात्ती करण छे कला ना रूप में अथवा तो फिल्म ना रूप में and that is done through metaphorization. तो एक तो आज ये परिवर्तन अथवा चेंज छे जे आपने बदान इंतरस्त करे छे आपने में बदान ये बात थी शक्के जिन्हें परिवर्तन थे रहे हो छे यानी आपने खबर नहीं पड़े और we don't want to take notice. कि बीजी जे छे कि art नो अने जे beauty नो concept � you can contribute only after seeing something. And Aliya says she is blind. If she is blind, then she is taking photographs. He has used a device of that, you know, intuition or there is a good, very good debate. So one can apparently see this at the distribute of Puchi is it is it art? What she is doing is an art. And the debate chef film Biji Bhaktiya Jojo. Then what he is doing is not a fault, but he is problematizing our existing definitions of art and beauty. You have to take a position. There is a beautiful sentence. The sentence is, why are we obsessed with final truths? Aapno je antim satyo pratyeno je duragra chai, अथवा तो मोच है, आशने माटे चे समाज में। I think that in that is where I link my experiments with truth with my experiment with truth here। अने आमा जे चे चार बाग दर्शन होए, अथवा तो सेयादवाद होए, अथवा तो जे the the theory of karma, all of them are there, but philosophical concept चाहे philosophical concept में रहते आता न थे। अब आपने जो ही वजह मिस्टर मेहता चाहे। Incidentally, that he is supplier of books and magazines. And one who is a supplier of books and magazines need not necessarily be a a person of यथा खरस चंदन वार वाही भारत सिवेता नत चंदनस से। ये आपने गदेरा ऊपर चंदन आपने ले जाइए। that's not for Mr. Mehta there. Yeah. He should forgive me if he is a character like that. <laughs> but I have not covered the budget, but I have not covered the budget. But one question is asked. Today, Jain Muni, Maitre, that the Atma is there, the Atma is there, the Atma is there, and I tell you, you feel goose bump, what, what would be the answer? How to the answer is there, how to the answer is there. That the Nathya Shaiyani is there, and then the answer he gives is, Jawaab aap achai, Jawaab chai, pata nahi. This questioning the finality or our obsession with finality does not help us in experimenting with other thoughts. So, aadhe je karma ne je siddhant chai, Anand Rai, aad Greek maa pad chai, Christianity maa pad chai, and Sanatan Dharma maa pad chai. I found that you are, in a way, challenging all three of them, and and you are coming close to what is you know, ये ये आपने ये कर्म करे चहे अनु कर्म आ स्पीयर में चहे कॉस्मोस में चहे कोई न कोई रीते चहे अन्य दिस विल विजिट यू सुन और लेटर हाउ डिड यू थिंक ऑफ डूइंग इट विथ थ्रू दिस कैरेक्टर्स पर्टिकुलरली in in all the three narratives um so uh, the uh, the approach for me is to uh, to haji 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 
ગુજરાતી હું પૂરો પ્રયત્ન કરીશ જેટલું જેટલું થઈ શકશે હું ગુજરાતીમાં બોલવાનો પ્રયત્ન કરીશ ખાલી મને જો વસ્તુ એ થશે કે હું ગુજરાતીમાં બોલવાનો પ્રયત્ન કરીશ પણ મારી ગુજરાતી શબ્દમાં ગુજરાતી ભાષામાં બધા શબ્દ કદાચ છે નહીં કાં તો મને ખબર નથી જે મારે બોલવા છે જેમ કે જેનેટિક્સ માટે શબ્દ શું રહેશે ગુજરાતીમાં હા જેની અચ્છા એપિજેનેટિક્સ માટે શું થશે નહીં એટલે નહીં હું નહીં આઈ આઈ એમ ઓલ્સો કાઇન્ડ ઓફ પોઝિંગ અ જેન્યુઇન ક્વેશ્ચન ઇટ્સ નોટ ઇટ્સ નોટ ઓનલી ઇટ્સ નોટ ઓનલી અ જોક ઇટ્સ ઇટ્સ અ જેન્યુઇન ક્વેશ્ચન ઇટ્સ અ જેન્યુઇન ક્વેસ્ટ ફોર મી કે મારે મારે સાચે બહુ ઈચ્છા છે પોતાની મને પોતાની બહુ ઈચ્છા છે કે હું ગુજરાતી ભાષા ની અંદર આ પ્રયોગ કરી શકું મને મને કોઈ જ એવી ઈચ્છા નથી કે હું એક ભાષાને બીજી ભાષાની ઉપર પ્રાયોરિટાઇઝ કરું પણ મને મને ઘણા બધા શબ્દો મળ્યા નથી બહુ વર્ષો સુધી ગોત્યા પછી મને શબ્દો ન મળ્યા પછી ને વિચારો ન મળ્યા પછી મેં એક બીજી ભાષા બનાવી અને અને મને લાગે છે કે આની પાછળ જો થોડા તત્વચિંતકો અને વૈજ્ઞાનિકો બેસી જાય ને ભાષાના વૈજ્ઞાનિકો અને શું કહેવાય લિંગ્વિસ્ટિક્સ ભાષા શાસ્ત્રીઓ બેસી જાય તો તો ખૂબ કામ કરવા લાયક છે અત્યારે ગુજરાતી ભાષામાં તો જો જો તમે પાર્ટિસિપેટ કરો એમાં એવા બીજા ભાષા શાસ્ત્રીઓ જો આમાં પાર્ટિસિપેટ કરીને મને ભાષા આપે તો હું તમને પૂરી ગેરંટી આપીશ કે હું ગુજરાતી સાહિત્ય ગુજરાતી ભાષામાં આ વિચારો સાથે પ્રયોગ કરવા માગું છું એ એ મારી તરફથી ગેરંટી પૂરી કરી પણ ત્યાં સુધી મને લાગે છે કે મારે બીજી ભાષાનો ઉપયોગ કરવો પડશે જે ભાષામાં આ કામ થયું છે જે ભાષામાં વિજ્ઞાનનું જે ભાષામાં ગણિતનું જે ભાષામાં સાહિત્યનું કામ થયું છે એ ભાષાનો મારો ઉપયોગ કરવો પડશે કારણ કે એ ભાષામાં વધારે થયું છે સો આઈ વોઝ રિસ્પોન્ડિંગ ટુ તો ચાર વાગ ને સ્યાદ ની હું વાત ગુજરાતીમાં કરી શકું પણ એપિજેનેટિક્સ ની બહુ ડિફિકલ્ટ પડશે કરવી હું સતત એક પ્રયાસમાં છું જેમાં જેમાં જેટલું મારી પાસે જેટલું મારી પાસે છે જેટલું મને મળ્યું છે જેટલું મેં સમેટ્યું છે અને જેટલું ગમતું છે એનું ગુલાલ કેવી રીતે કરવું પણ એને એવી રીતના કરવું કે નવા અર્થ ખુલે નવા વિચારો ખુલે નવી દ્રષ્ટિઓ ખુલે નવા દ્રષ્ટિકોણો ખુલે અને અને મોસ્ટ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટલી એને કન્ટેમ્પરાઇઝ કઈ રીતે કરવું કે મારી સિચ્યુએશનમાં હું અત્યારે જ્યાં છું મેં વર્ષોથી સિનેમા જોયું મેં ખૂબ સિનેમા જોયું અને મને લાગ્યું કે આ એક આ એક એવું મીડિયમ છે જેમ અમે લોકોએ અમને બેને અત્યારે લાગે છે એવું કે શેક્સપીયર જીવત જીવતા હોત કે બુદ્ધ જીવતા હોત તો આ માધ્યમનો પૂરો ઉપયોગ કરતા હોત તો બહુ જ બહુ જ પાવરફુલ માધ્યમ એટલા માટે છે કારણ કે હું એની એના ન્યુરો સાયન્સમાં પણ જઈ શકું પણ એ ડાયગ્રેસ નથી કરતો હું પણ તમે ક્વિક એક આઈડિયા આપી દઉં તો મિરર ન્યુરોન્સ કરીને એક કોન્સેપ્ટ છે જે વી એસ રામચંદ્રને ડિસ્કવર કર્યો કે જેમાં વી એસ રામચંદ્રને એમ ડિસ્કવર કર્યું કે જ્યારે જ્યારે તમે એક સ્ટિમ્યુલસને ઓબઝર્વ કરો છો ત્યારે તમારા અંદર એ જ ન્યુરોન્સ ઇગ્નાઇટ થાય છે જે જે વ્યક્તિ એક્સપિરિયન્સ કર્યું જે વ્યક્તિ સીધું એ સ્ટિમ્યુલેશન અનુભવ કરી રહ્યો છે એના અંદર થાય છે અને સાથે સાથે તે એક નિગેટિંગ ન્યુરોન્સ પણ ઉત્પન્ન થાય છે જે ઇગ્નાઇટ થાય છે જે રોકી દે છે જે થામી દે છે એ પ્રોસેસને બહુ સિમ્પલ એક્ઝામ્પલ આપું તો તમે કોઈકને તમને તમે કોઈકને જુઓ જેને કોઈ આગ ચાપી હોય તો એમના બ્રેનમાં તમારા બ્રેનમાં સેમ ન્યુરોન્સ ઇગ્નાઇટ થશે પણ ઇમિડિયેટલી ઓલમોસ્ટ ઇમિડિયેટલી ઓલમોસ્ટ સાયમલ્ટેનિયસલી જે બોડીનો પાર્ટ છે જે તમે જોઈ ઓબ્ઝર્વ કર્યો છે એ બોડીના પાર્ટથી તમારા બ્રેનમાં એક સિગ્નલ જશે જે નેગેટ કરશે ન્યુરોન્સ એટલે તમને તરત જ ખબર પડશે કે તમારે કંઈ કરવાની જરૂર નથી આમાં કે તમારે કંઈ કરવાની જરૂર હોય તો એ તમને એ રીતનો રિસ્પોન્સ ક્રિએટ કરશે સો એને મિરર ન્યુરોન્સ કહેવાય સિનેમા જે આજનું અત્યાર સુધી જે સિનેમા જ્યાં પહોંચ્યું છે એ બાકી બાકી બધા જ મીડિયા કરતાં સાહિત્ય કરતાં કલા કરતાં 
વધારે ડિસ્ટિલ્ડ મિરર ન્યુરોન્સ ઊભું કરી શકે છે જ્યારે સિનેમા થ્રી ડી સિનેમા થઈ જશે ફોર ડી સિનેમા થઈ જશે ત્યારે એની એની જે કેપેસિટી છે મિરર ન્યુરોન્સ પ્રોડ્યુસ કરવાની એ વધતી જશે અને એના લીધે જે અનુભૂતિઓ છે જે અનુભવ છે એ વધારે ડિરેક્ટ અને વધારે એન્ગેજિંગ થતા જશે અને એટલા માટે જે જે સાહિત્યનું વર્ષ હજારો વર્ષો જૂનું જે જે એસ્પિરેશન છે કે કેવી રીતે જેમ સાહેબે કીધું કે કેવી રીતે દર્શનને દ્રષ્ટિકોણને વિચારને અનુભૂતિને અનુભવને કેવી કેવી રીતે અનુભૂતિમાં ઢળવા રૂપક વાપરીને કરી શકાય સંવાદ વાપરીને કરી શકાય કલા વાપરીને કરી શકાય કે મેજિસ વાપરીને કરી શકાય કેવી રીતે કરી શકાય કે કેવી રીતે હાઉ ડુ વી હાઉ ડુ વી ટ્રાન્સલેટ ધ ધ કોન્સેપ્ચ્યુઅલ ધ ઇન્ટેલેક્ચ્યુઅલ ટુ ધ ઇન્ટ્યુટિવ વોટ ઇઝ વોટ ઇઝ અ વે ઓફ ડુઈંગ દેટ એન્ડ સિનેમા સિનેમા ઇઝ ધ ઇઝિયસ્ટ ટૂલ દેર હેઝ બીન દેટ ઇટ ડઝ નોટ રિક્વાયર ઇટ ડઝ નોટ રિક્વાયર એઝ ગ્રેટ અ ક્રાફ્ટ્સમેનશીપ એઝ પર હેપ્સ લિટરેચર વર્ડ ટુ બી એબલ ટુ ક્રિએટ અ સર્ટન કાઇન્ડ ઓફ મૂડ એન્ડ એક્સપિરિયન્સ it of course as it's evolving is demanding it's becoming more and more demanding it's demanding more greater and greater craftsmanship to be able to engineer the mimetics so so to say um, but it's it's an extremely extremely powerful tool that enables that translation from the from the intellectual from the abstract from the conceptual to the intuitive to the emotional to the experiential it enables a translation much easier than other forms have been able to and hence it's 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 taking its roots in our consciousness the way no other medium has before taken uh so uh, for me it started very the journey started very early on to char varsh no to tare uh me pehli pehli film je mane ekdam sare rite yaar che je ekdam puri puri joy li e thi mera naam joker ane mera naam joker જોતા વેદ મેં નક્કી કરી લીધું મેં મારી મમ્મીને જઈને દોડતા જઈને મેં મમ્મી પાસે ગયો અને મેં મમ્મીને કીધું કે મેં નક્કી કરી લીધું છે મારા મોટા થઈને જોકર બનવું છે અને ધ ઇમ્પેક્ટ ઓફ દેટ એક્સપિરિયન્સ ધ ઇમ્પેક્ટ ઓફ દેટ ઇમિડિયસી ઇઝ સમથિંગ દેટ આઈ કીપ થિંકિંગ અબાઉટ ઇન રેટ્રોસ્પેક્ટ ઇઝ અ ફોર યર લો ફોર યર ઓલ્ડ ઇટ ઇટ એંગેજ મી ઇન અ લાઈફ ઇટ મેડ મી ઇન્વેસ્ટ એન્ડ લિવ અ લાઈફ that is so far more complex than the imagination of a 4 year old would would permit uh and and to be able to to infer from that 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 is a life worth living uh is is something that i keep examining keep going back to and how do i do that how do i as a filmmaker um tame kidu ke you know a lot of youth would would feel that આ તો ગડબડ છે બોસ કે અહીંયા આ બધું કરવું પડે આ બધું વાંચવું પડે તો પણ બટ ટુ 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 બી ઓનેસ્ટ આઈ થિંક ધ ધ સિનેમા દેટ વી આર વી આર મુવિંગ ટુવર્ડ્સ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ ડિમાન્ડ ધેટ ઓફ અસ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ ડિમાન્ડ અસ ટુ બી સાયન્ટિસ્ટ ટુ બી સ્કોલર્સ ટુ બી ટુ બી ફિલોસોફર્સ એન્ડ એન્ડ વોટ આર ધીઝ રોલ્સ લેટ્સ લેટ્સ જસ્ટ ક્વિકલી એસ્ટાબ્લિશ ધીઝ રોલ્સ બિફોર વી બિફોર આઈ સ્ટાર્ટ ટોકિંગ અબાઉટ માય uh my relationship with with charvak thought or with rationalism or with humanism or with uh with with all kind all ideas that that have tried to kind of uh consolidate in shape of thesis um what what does a scientist do a scientist observes empirically scientist observes in laboratory ek ek prayogshala ma scient ek ek vaigyanik varam var uh prayogo kare experiments kare ane ena inferences draw kare ki ane એનું જે રિગર છે એ રિગર ડેવલપ થતું જાય એનો એ પ્રયોગ વધારે વધારે સોફિસ્ટિકેટેડ થતા જાય અને એનું જે ઇન્ફ્લુન્સ છે એ લોકોની સામે પ્રસ્તુત કરે એ સમાજની સામે પ્રસ્તુત કરે કે ભાઈ આવું છે કે પરમાણુ છે પરમાણુની અંદર અણુ છે અણુની અંદર ક્વોન્ટમ પ્રોબેબિલિટી છે એક ઇલેક્ટ્રોન ક્યારેક કઈ છે કઈ દિશામાં ક્યાં હશે કોઈને ખબર નથી શોર્ટિંગર સ્કેટનું કોન્સેપ્ટ છે આ આવા આવા બધા આવા બધા પ્રયોગો કરી કરી કરીને એમ્પિરિકલી ઓબ્ઝર્વ કરેલું ટ્રુથ એક વૈજ્ઞાનિક પ્રસ્તુત કરે સમાન સામે હવે એ સત્યનું કરવું છું એ તથ્ય જે છે જે ઊભા કર્યા વૈજ્ઞાનિકે એક પ્રયોગશાળામાં એનું આપણે કરીએ છું તો ત્યાં ફિલોસોફર આવે ત્યાં તમારો ત્યાં તમારા સોશિયોલોજિસ્ટ આવે સાયકોલોજિસ્ટ આવે ક્રિટિક્સ આવે ફિલોસોફર્સ આવે કે એ તથ્યોને ભેગા કરીને 
જે તથ્યો જમા થયા છે જે તથ્યો જે તથ્યો ભેગા કર્યા છે ઇન્ફ્લુન્સિસ જે ભેગા કર્યા છે હવે એ તથ્ય એ તથ્યમાંથી સત્ય નીકાળી એ ફેક્ટ્સને ઓબ્ઝર્વ કરીને આપણે એને એક્ઝામિન કરીને એનું એનું ઇન્ફ્લુન્સ નીકાળીએ કે જો આ છે આ જો થાય છે તો આનો આનો અર્થ આ છે તો એ કામ ફિલોસોફર કરે પછી ફિલોસોફર ફિલોસોફર બીજું કામ કરે ફિલોસોફરે ઓલરેડી પ્રોબ્લેમ્સ ક્રિએટ કરી રાખ્યા છે ફિલોસોફર્સ ઓલરેડી સવાલો આટલા બધા પૂછી રહ્યા છે મને ડૉક્ટર અંતર કર હું કહી રહ્યો હતો ડૉક્ટર કે મેં હું કોઈ સ્કૂલમાં ગયો નથી હું કોલેજ ગયો નથી પણ અને એટલા માટે મારી મારી જે વાત કરવાની પદ્ધતિ છે એ થોડી આડી અવડી છે કારણ કે મેં દસ વસ્તુ એક સાથે વાંચી છે અને મારા બ્રેનમાં એવી રીતના વસ્તુ કનેક્ટ થઈ છે તો એવી રીતના પછી બહાર આવે છે તો મેં પ્રોપરલી સ્કૂલમાં જઈને ભણ્યો હતો એક એક વસ્તુ એક એક સાથે વાત કરી શકતો હતો પણ હું આવી રીતના ભણ્યો છું આવી રીતના બધું ભેગું કર્યું છે મેં અહીંયા ત્યાંથી અહીંયા ત્યાંથી સાથે એને બધું ભેગું થતું ગયું છે ડૉક્ટર અંતર્ગતના ક્લાસમાં હું એમને હું ઘૂસી ગયેલો ડૉક્ટર અંતર્ગતનો પીએચડી ક્લાસ હતો જ્યાં ન્યાય વૈશિષ્ટ્ય યોગ સામખ્ય વેદાંત પર પીએચડી સ્ટુડન્ટ્સ પીએચડી કરતા હતા અને હું ત્યાં બેસીને ગપ્પા મારતો હતો અને ત્યારે અઢાર વર્ષનો હતો સત્તર અઢાર વર્ષનો હતો ત્યારે હું કોલેજ છોડી ચૂક્યો હતો ત્યારે ઓલરેડી કોલેજમાં મને લાગ્યું નહોતું કે કંઈ પણ વાંચવું છે હું સારી કોલેજમાં ગયો હતો મારી કોલેજમાં સાહેબ જેવા પ્રોફેસર્સ હતો હું ન જાત પણ મારી કોલેજમાં એવા કોઈ હતા નહીં પ્રોફેસર બહુ જ બિચારા ગરીબડા હતા અને એ લોકોને એ લોકોને પ્રિવિલેજીસ નહોતા મળ્યા કંઈ ભણવાનું કંઈ શીખવાના તો એક્સપેક્ટેશન હતું નહીં કે લોકો પાસે કંઈ શીખી શકે તો મને મેં મારી મેં ઘરે આવીને કીધું કે મેં મારી માને ને મારા ઘરમાં પોતાને કીધું કે તમે ચિંતા નહીં કરો આમ આઈ એમ ડ્રોપિંગ આઉટ ઓફ કોલેજ ફોર એડ્યુકેશન નોટ અગેન્સ એડ્યુકેશન સો ઇટ વોઝ ઇટ વોઝ અ વેરી ડિસિપ્લિન આઈડિયા ઇન માઇ હેડ ઇટ વોઝ અ વેરી રોમેન્ટિક આઈડિયા ઇન માઇ હેડ કે હું કોલેજમાંથી ડ્રોપ આઉટ કરીને પછી મારું એડ્યુકેશન ચાલુ કરીશ અને દેટ્સ એક્ઝેક્ટલી વોટ આઈ એટલીસ્ટ ટ્રાય ટુ શેરિંગ એટલીસ્ટ એન્ડ દેટ્સ આઈ થિંક વોટ 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 એની ટીચર વોટ એસ્પાયર ટુ અગેન સો ડૉક્ટર અંતર્ગતના ક્લાસમાં હું જતો હતો હું બેસતો હતો અને ત્યાં ગપ્પા મારતો હતો અને સવાલો પૂછતો હતો તો એક દિવસ મેં એક કાગળ પર થોડા સવાલો સ્ક્રિબલ કરી નાખ્યા હતા અને જેને ડૉક્ટર અંતર્ગતના ટેબલ પર મૂકી દીધેલા અઠવાડિયા પછી મેં જોયું કે બધા જેટલા પણ પીએચડી સ્ટુડન્ટ્સ છે બધા પીએચડી સ્ટુડન્ટ્સના ટેબલ ઉપર એ મારા કાગડિયાની ઝેરોક્સ કોપી હતી તો મને બહુ મને બહુ સારું લાગ્યું મને લાગ્યું કે આ પ્રાઇડ કરવા લેવા લાગ્યું છે ને હું જ્યારે ડૉક્ટર અંતર્ગત પાસે જેને બ્રાઉની પોઈન્ટ્સ લઈ આવું આના તો ડૉક્ટર અંતર્ગતને કીધું જેને કીધું કે સાહેબ સવાલ તો મેં મસ્ત પૂછ્યા તો તો ડૉક્ટર અંતર્ગત મને કહે કે ફિલોસોફિકલ ક્વેશ્ચન્સ આર ક્વેશ્ચન્સ રેઇઝ બાય ચિલ્ડ્રન દેટ સ્કોલર્સ ફેલ ટુ આન્સર સો ફિલોસોફર્સ હેવ ઓલરેડી આસ્ક ઓલ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ ક્વેશ્ચન્સ એન્ડ ધ કી કન્ટિન્યુ આસ્કિંગ ધીઝ ક્વેશ્ચન્સ and the job of the job of the philosopher is also to rephrase these questions constantly in the light of the new available data ave art no philosopher jo emat jo evo sawal kare ke bhagwan che ke nahi to bo to ganai nahi philosopher to logo le nahi seriously art no art no philosopher is seriously levrama mate ocha ma ho chu compatibilism in the light of uh, new neuroscientific influences je bhi koi baat karvi pade to to kai to kai manya thai so how how the philosopher also rephrases constantly rephrases the questions produces intuitive questions in, in intuition is a very complex entity intuition par aplamna jai nahi sake karke enu potano potano ek bo moto samvat hai but intuition is a, is a very very complex entity because it's a cumulative it's a cumulative made up of information that you have genetically inherited and information that you inherit that you uh, that you experience and, and grasp within your lifetime અને આનું બેન મળીને જે ક્યુમ્યુનિટી બને ને એ એ ઇન્ટ્યુશન છે તો ઇટ્સ એ કોન્સ્ટન્ટલી ઇવોલ્વિંગ એન્ટિટી ઇટ્સ એ કોન્સ્ટન્ટલી ઇવોલ્વિંગ એન્ટિટી ઇટ્સ એ ઇટ્સ એન કોન્સ્ટન્ટ સ્ટેટ ઓફ ફ્લક્સસ લાઈક એવરીથિંગ એલ્સ એન્ડ એન્ડ ધેટ ઇન્ટ્યુશન ઓફ ધ ફિલોસોફર ઓફ ધ આર્ટિસ્ટ ઓફ ધ પોઈટ ગાઈડ્સ ન્યુ સાયન્ટિફિક ઇન્ક્વાયરી સો ઇટ 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 એમ્બ્રેસિસ સાયન્ટિફિક ઇન્ક્વાયરી શેપ્સ ઇટ ગિવ્સ ઇટ મીનિંગ ગિવ્સ ઇટ પર્પસ ગિવ્સ ઇટ ગિવ્સ ઇટ એપ્લિકેશન સમટાઈમ્સ એન્ડ ધેન a new intuition that comes as a consequence of that that relationship produces new questions that inspires further scientific inquiry is how i i kind of see it and, and probably a little reduced but it's useful to see it that way uh, yeah ananda in fact towards aapne je film ne ant ant taraf tyare je aath vyaktiyo ne organs madya chhe aa bada madya chhe actually i જોતા જ મને લાગ્યો 
કે આ જે ઉપનિષદમાં જે મહાસનો કોન્સેપ્ટ છે ને દેટ ઇન ધીસ યુનિવર્સ એવરીથિંગ ઇઝ ઇન્ટરકનેક્ટેડ અને કોણ કોણને માટે કેટલું શું યોગદાન કરી રહ્યું છે આની આપણે ખબર નથી અથવા તો આપણામાં શું કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુશન બીજા કરી રહ્યા છે ફ્રોમ ફ્રોમ મોલિક્યુલ્સ ટુ બેક્ટેરિયા ટુ જે 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 બધી બધી વસ્તુઓ હોય આ જે ઇન્ટર રિલેટેડનેસ જે છે આ સમજવાની કોશિશ બહુ ઓછી થઈ છે આ સાહિત્યમાં અને જે ફિલ્મ ફિલ્મ તો એક્સપ્લોર કરે છે પણ આમાં જે એક સવાલ બીજું ઊભો થાય છે યુ કેપ્ચર ઇટ સમાવ અને છેલ્લે જે જેવી રીતે આનું એન્ડ થયો શીપ ઓફ થીસિયસમાં આ તો એક ઓનલી એન આર્ટિસ્ટ કેન સી થ્રુ દેટ બટ એક સવાલ મને બીજા મારા મનમાં થાય છે આઈ થિંક મોસ્ટ ઓફ ઓફ વુડ બી દેટ ફિલ્મ્સ આર ફ્યુચરિસ્ટિક ઇન ટર્મ્સ ઓફ આઈડિયાઝ એન્ડ થોટ્સ જેવી રીતે તરત અંગ્રેજીમાં આર્ટિફિશિયલ ઇન્ટેલિજન્સ ફિલ્મ છે અથવા તો ઘણી બધી ફિલ્મ્સ જે બને છે કે સાયન્ટિસ્ટમાંથી વિચારો લે છે આપણે ત્યાં ભારતીય ફિલ્મોમાં જે એવું રિચ સાયન્સ ફિલ્મ અથવા તો જે ફ્યુચરિસ્ટિક ફિલ્મો આ કેમ બનતી નથી આનું કોઈ આપણે પાસે બિકોઝ યુ વુડ હેવ સ્ટડીડ ધીસ ફિનોમિન ફોર મી ઇટ્સ it's it's the biggest problem i mean it's the, it's a problem that i feel most committed to ele shivam thesis ma ghana bada agenda jata ne ek political ek political agenda to ne political agenda a to um ki uh ee agenda ye to ki ane i'm not i'm not particularly nationalistic um mane i i have a very fluid concept of uh, of where i am and my geography etc to evu koi mane evu koi poch clear notion nahi ki hu આ દેશનો નાગરિક છું આ દેશ શું છે એ પણ એ બધા બહુ મેન્યુફેક્ચર્ડ કોન્સેપ્ટ છે જેનીથી જેટલું દૂર રહે એટલું સારું પણ અને હું ગુજરાતમાં વાત કરી રહ્યો છું તો હવે તો આપણે આ વખતે વાત કરી છે તો અને ઉપનિષદની તમે વાત કરી તો હું એની પર પણ આવું જે જે ઇનહેરિટ કરવા જેવું છે અને જે ઇનહેરિટ કરવા જેવું નથી એ શું અને અને આગળ આર્ટની જનરેશનનો આર્ટિસ્ટ આર્ટની જનરેશનનો ફિલોસોફર આર્ટની જનરેશનનો ફિલ્મ મેકર એવું કઈ રીતે એવું કઈ રીતે ઓબ્ઝર્વેશન પ્રોડ્યુસ કરે એવા કઈ રીતે દ્રષ્ટિકોણ પ્રોડ્યુસ કરે જેનીથી નવું વિજ્ઞાન જન્મે જે બહુ જ સારું એસ્પિરેશન છે જે જે ડેફિનેટલી મારું એસ્પિરેશન છે જે મને લાગે છે કે ઇફ આઈ ઇફ આઈ ટુ ફાઇન્ડ અ રોલ ફોર માય સેલ્ફ ઇન ધીસ પ્લેસ એક્ઝ એમ્બ્રેસિંગ ધ મિનિંગલેસનેસ ઓફ માય એક્ઝિસ્ટન્સ એમ્બ્રેસિંગ દેટ દેર ઇઝ એબ્સુલી નો પ્રી એક્ઝિસ્ટિંગ મિનિંગ ટુ વાય આઈ એમ હ્યોર ઇટ્સ બીન અ સિરીઝ ઓફ સિરીઝ ઓફ એક્સિડન્ટ્સ દેટ હેવ લેટ મી હ્યોર સિરીઝ ઓફ uh series and series of accidents that have accumulated to to for to have led me here to have found me here then how do i further invent meaning because meaning doesn't pre exist how do i further in, invent meaning and in in that aspiration to invent meaning i feel the role i can play as a filmmaker is to is to take the next step so I, as i said scientist produces in uh, data information uh, inferences the philosopher uses the inferences to uh, and examines them and produce further further inferences and the filmmaker of today and that's my inspiration would be somebody who takes inferences from all directions and then produces new intuitions new experiences translates all of the data into something something that you can use something that is that is usable that is that is experiential that is intuitive that is emotional and also intellectual of course સો દેટ દેટ ઇઝ અ ડેફિનેટ એસ્પિરેશન કે હવે આપણે ત્યાં આવું સિનેમા બનવા માંડે તો બહુ મજા આવી જાય કે મને મને રોજ એવું લાગે આ દેટ્સ અ ફિલિંગ આઈ ફીલ એવરી ડે અને અગેન બાય આપણે ત્યાં આઈ જસ્ટ મીન કે ધ જોગ્રાફી દેટ વી હેવ ફાઉન્ડ આ સેલ્સ ઇન રાઇટ નાઉ વિચ રીલી રીલી નીડ્સ ટુ 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 બી પુશ ટુ ધ નેક્સ્ટ સ્ટેજ ઓફ સિવિલાઇઝેશન દેટ નીડ્સ ટુ બી પુશ ડેસ્પરેટલી એન્ડ અર્જન્ટલી to to some amount of sanity in in sanity and i'm i'm known to claim that i'm the one going to push that but i can probably participate if there is a if there is a notion or a movement going on that i would like to be one of the one of the participants in that and in in that i would like definitely for uh, for new ideas to inform our sciences and for cinema to inspire sciences for it cinema to be an academic conversation it, it, as i was growing up filmmakers were always asked to stay out of the out of the academic conversation filmmakers were what naj gana people and they still are and rightly so i mean they are 
Naj Gana people and most of them are unfortunately not privileged enough to, to have been educated. So, uh, because they probably went to colleges. Uh, and they, they are, uh, so we have had a culture of, of filmmakers aggressively staying away out of any, any conversation of any relevance. Like, instead of aggressively participating, aggressively staying away from, from, from conversation of any relevance for the longest time. And I have been kept that way. And I, I find that very disturbing and very problematic because it's such an incredibly powerful tool which is being hijacked every day. And, and that will bring me to Upanishads and, uh, and ancient Indian ideas and ancient Indian wisdom which has some incredibly powerful intuitions that are being hijacked right in front of our eyes and will be hijacked and gone before we know it. Uh, I mean, I don't see, I don't see any BJP, any BJP member ever practicing Anubhadra Pratya Yudhu Vishwata. Like, I am not yet, uh, you know, uh, and I have not yet seen uh, any, anybody who, who, who is laying a, a serious claim to, to this tradition, to this wisdom, uh, examining this, this wisdom uh, in, in, in any way that is of any relevance. So, uh, uh, so that is being hijacked in a big way, that is being hijacked, reduced, uh, um, manufactured into com in, and, and, and transformed into something completely what it is not in a, in a big way. Uh, so it's very important and urgent to take the intuitions that are, that are relevant and also to, to discard those that are vestigial. See the problem is that, uh, is the problem is the thesis that that suggests that take it all or leave it, which is a problematic thesis. You're not supposed to take it all or leave it. Natural selection doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. Evolution doesn't work like that. Evolution takes the takes the material that is most sustainable. That is that is going to create create better and better living conditions, better and better life conditions for the collective, for the whole, not for the individual only, but for the collective as well as, as life becomes more and more complex. So, natural selection itself works in a way where it, it, the mutations that are detrimental to the well-being of the collective, to the well-being of the species are written off, are, are thrown out. So, it shouldn't be take it all. It should be take, take the most relevant. I'm willing to take Anubhadra Kratu Hindu Vishwadha. I'm even willing to participate in Nasadiya Sukta. But I'm not willing to participate with n number of things in, in, in Vedas and Upanishads that are Vestigial that are of no relevance anymore, or that are that are just downright wrong, you know. And we have proven with fact, with empirical knowledge, with observation, with with with, more, with incredible amount of enlightenment that, that the last two centuries have offered us that some of these concepts are wrong. So, so firstly, we need to urgently examine, immediately adapt, accept, grasp, uh, and inherit actively what. The intuitions that have not yet been examined, intuitions that have not yet been scientifically studied in laboratory conditions, and start examining them. So, so we should we should start taking them before before they are hijacked and reduced to something that they are not. So that's that's my that was that, that is my urgency with Charva, with Upanishads, with with Syadwad, with with every Indian concept that you see in Shiva thesis. That's my my sense. That's my political urgency with it. That that I need to. Uh, I was uh, this is a statement uh, I shared last year. Uh, where I where I spoke about this uh, economist um, writing about Adam Smith, and uh, as he's writing about Adam Smith, he's uh, he's he's ripping Adam Smith apart. Uh, he's decimating Adam Smith, and at one point uh, he says, "Well, I'm not claiming that I'm smarter than Smith, but I want huge benefit over him. I've read him, and that is that is a great benefit we have." over everyone who has been here before us. That is a great benefit we have over the Buddha. That is a great benefit we have over Satyajitra. That is a great benefit we have over, 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 over Marie Curie, over, over every single person who has been, who has, who has worked before us. Who has, and, and we have to actively inherit the fruits, the inferences, the, the knowledge that has been passed on. And there has to be an active inheritance. So, so for me, it's a very active and aggressive and, and, and sometimes in politically charged participation that I want to I want to take from wherever from wherever I can find its mind uh, ideas are the, the are the most freely available tools uh, and balancing tools you can have any amount of social inequality but if the flow of ideas can be maintained somehow it, it they will keep on 
they'll keep on balancing it out. They'll keep on balancing all kinds of inequalities out. So it's a great, it's a great balancing paradigm. It's a great uh, ideas, and uh, and ideas have been free flowing thanks to the time that we I was born in and I was growing up in. Uh, right when I needed knowledge to be free, uh, Pirate Bay was around to to help it. And uh, and Ship of Theseus when we when we released the film, we entered a clause with the uh, with with all our uh, home video buyers that yes okay if you want to sell the DVD we are willing to I mean we'd be more than happy for the DVD to be in the market and it's been in the market now uh, for a year but we said but we'll also simultaneously release a free legal copy online and that's what we did last year simultaneously we released a legal free copy and the DVD on the same day just as an experiment to see what happens and in a month's time the DVDs uh, the first edition of DVD was sold out. Uh, it went into second edition immediately, and the free downloads were, were also like there were like some fourteen thousand downloads in the first month. So, so both were going simultaneously, and I think it's it's an it's an uh, incredibly beautiful uh, position we are we are in right now. Um, and then we announced that we want to take this experiment further. We want to make forty. Uh, we had like some 40, 45 hours of footage that we shot for the film. So we decided that we're going to make all of that open source. So that's the project that we launched only three days ago. Uh, I mean, the project was launched a year ago. Three days ago, we made all the material we have: footage, audio tapes, uh, recordings, everything we have on Ship of Thieves. We made it completely open source. It's available online for free to download, reuse, do whatever you want to. Make your own version version of Ship of Thieves. Show it to your friends. In fact, we had a, uh, a couple. Of, we had a film student from Ahmedabad. Uh, who just completed making one one of one version of Ship of Theseus of her own. She came to Bombay. She was very great. Uh, we were great, grateful to her that she came to Bombay and she showed us her version of the film. And at the end, she asked us, "Now, what do I do with it?" I'm like, "It's your film. Do whatever you want to do with it." <laughs> so, uh, so that's that's the idea. We want to, I want to experiment actively and aggressively with this this idea of Anubhadra Pratyendi Ushata. How do we accept and embrace ideas that are that are out there? And, and actively inherit them and then shape them and, and contribute to them and then pass them on to, to the next generation for, for them to use and make life fairer. Uh, I think uh, uh, we would have some space for interaction also. But uh, before I do that, I think two, three things become very clear. And uh, uh, that is uh, like, uh, if the ship of Theseus is, uh, I don't use the word great all the time, but the ek bahu sari utkrist kalatmak avivakti shay, to anu karan aach hai ki aap experiment kare shay, priyog kare shay, ane satyo saathe priyog kare shay, ane satyo ni finality ne reject kare shay, ane ane maate sahas joi hai. साहस में साथे साथे एक वैकल्पिक सत्य पर वो गर्व पड़े। You can't leave truth as it is after questioning it. You have to supply alternative truth also. And अने people may reject it, people may accept it. That openness should also be there. But तथ्य आप पर से कि आ युग नो जे माध्यम चे, आ फिल्म चे, and I at times call Anand Bhai. No better place to to, to test this position. I call films as mobile katha. Because katha ma je the abstract philosophy ati katha na drishtant na madhyamo ati a kaivati ati. I think film is serving the same purpose that a mobile katha ni rite a ek apne saame aave che. Head generation aje priyog kare che सत्य सामने सवाल उबा उबा करे चहे अने आती जे एक वस्तु सिद्ध था इचे आ चहे कि आ एवी फिल्मों थी शिप ऑफ फीसियर जे भी फिल्मों थी आपना अस्तित्व मानवता ना अस्तित्व नी पहचान था इचे दैट ह्यूमैनिटी इज इन ए स्टेट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन इट इज नॉट कंप्लीट अने जारे हूँ आ पहुँचो जारे मारे म एक बार नो शेयर फ्लैश थे जाए जाए, एक बार नो शेयर माती एक शब्द आपने घना फिल्म में खूब परिचित थे हो जाए, 
कौन सा है कौन कौन सा है कौन है ना दैट फिल्म यू नो हाँ रॉक स्टार जी पारस ने बड़ी फिल्मों जोई है याद पड़ से हमें कौन सा है कौन मीन्स आई एम दैट एंड सो देन आज ये कहे चाहे कि ये कायनात अभी ना तमाम है शायद ना तमाम मीन्स नॉट एट कंप्लीट ये कायनात अभी ना तमाम है शायद आ रही है धनादन सदाए कुन फे कुन दैट इज वाई द साउंड ऑफ सेइंग दैट आई एम दैट आई एम दैट इज कमिंग अगेन एंड अगेन एवरी फिल्म इज अ साउंड ऑफ कुन फे कुन अ गुड फिल्म यू आर वेलकम विद गुड क्वेश्चन तो मम्मी मैंने बाद ना ना बाद दादाज कहूँ मार बा दादा घरे ले मैं मोटू कर तो घूम बुध मैं मूँ अने घर में वातावरण जो तो साहित्य प्रेमन खास कर लोक संस्कृति प्रेम लोक संस्कृति एट बॉलीवुड बॉलीवुड फिल्म हो गई खूब जबरदस्त चेन अने खूब खूब फिल्मों जो था मार घर में लोगों ने मार मम्मी ने मार ना में खास कर चित्रलेखा अभियान मैगजीन्स में जो नवलकथाओ आती सीरीज जो आती फाड़ी फाड़ी आर्काइव करता जमें घना कर समय में आने लोक साहित्य खूब वाँचता रंगमंच साथ एक 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 रिलेशनशिप थी रेग्युलरली रंगमंच थिएटर जो खूब आदत थी और आ बधु इन इन कम्प्लीट एब्सेंस ऑफ रिसोर्सेस के जय कहीं नहीं जय घर में बाकी कहीं नौ जे घर में मोटो थे हूँ ये घर डाल एक झूपड़ू जे जेम बे दीवार पतरा नहीं थी टीन टीन बे पतरा था बीजे बे दीवार ईटनी थी नहीं जो ईटनी दीवार थी एम एक झाड़ू भी घर में आई गए घर उभ तो एक बांबू एक पचमा एक बांबू तो नहीं बेलेंस घर न आठ बाय आठ फूट टाइप नाकड़ू चौल चाल अंदर चाल बार एक्चुअली एक नाकड़ू झूपड़ू आने तो इकोनॉमिक सीच्युएशन आर्थिक सीच्युएशन भले ही थी पांस्कृतिक सीच्युएशन थोड़ी अलग थी अरे खूब क्यूरियॉसिटी थी क्यूरियॉसिटी मैं खूब खूब प्रोत्साहन जय जयरे कोईपण प्रकार कूतूहल जन्मत प्रोत्साहन सौ मत तो नपण में पहली बार मैं डिसाइड करूँ कि जोकर बनवूँ पे मैं डिसाइड करूँ कि जोकर तो बनवे साथ साथ वैज्ञानिक बनवे हाई ही बधाने जेने कहते हैं कि मैं जोकर आ छ सात वर्ष ध्यान कि जोकर बनवे है वैज्ञानिक बनवे आ भी वस्तु पक्की वक्त में लोग लगे लोग हमेशा बार लोग हमेशा एम कहें कि आ भी साथ नी सकता है पर घर में एवं क्यों कोई कोई कीधु नहीं मारे मारा बा ने मार दादा ने मम्मी हमेशा कहते कि हाँ आ बराबर है दिस मेक्स परफेक्ट सेंस पी जैसे डिसाइड करूँ कि ना जोकर बनवे साइंटिस्ट बनवे साथ साथ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स करवा तो ना किड्स मरता था हमेशा गिफ्ट्स में कि जयरेप कहीं मांगत हो तो कहते मैंने क्या बाजूवाड़ा एक एक दादा था जम जमें केमिकल दुकाने तरह केमिकल्स ले आप एवं डिमांड्स थी तो हमेशा देव मैट अने साथ साथ एक फितूर तू मेजिशियन बना मेजिक करव तो एक एक बर्थडे पार्टी में पार्टी मेजिशियन ने मेरी मम्मी कहीं थी उपाड़ी आई कि यार तब आई मार दीक कहीं खेला हो कहीं तो अने शी शी वुड ऑलवेज शी वुड ऑलवेज पे बैक इन 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 काइंड इन बुक्स माय मम इज अ बुक डीलर माय ग्रैंड पा इज अ बुक डीलर एंड एंड जस्ट अ स्मोल ट्रीविया माय मिस्टर मेहता इन इन शिप ऑफ थीस इज माय इज माय ग्रैंड पा इज माय नाना जी सो एंड एंड माय फैमिली कैन फाइंड देयर वे दे ऑलवेज फाइंड देयर वे टू इनटू माय फिल्म्स इनटू माय वर्क Every everyone I know, I mean, Shubham Thies has has so many people, has lots and lots of people, and uh, every single person to the last person, uh, I I can say this this to to, to about ninety five percent certainty that to the to the last person uh, is uh, is somebody I know personally. So I, uh, I I try to do that in 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 my films. I try to 
cast people who who I've had a personal experience with, I've had personal insight into, it so that I can I can I can tap into an essence that is usually missed out in films. Um, so so yeah, my, my my childhood was essentially just wanting to do a lot of things uh, and being encouraged to do those things. Uh, okay. And especially there was like small deals. I would go up to my family and say, "Mare, I want to see a photo dance photo." So since the age of eight, I've never, you know, made that photo dance photo. Yeah, no. So anybody, ma, I would get, I would get the whole set of children's knowledge bank, starting with part two and part six, and then the whole set eventually. So, so stuff like that. Encyclopedias, leva matte. I would, I would decide that mare photo dance photo, mare holy na drumbi because these were the, I mean. Uh, I, I never found it celebrative. I found it. I found other things more celebrative than that. I found theater more celebrative. School ma theater to do, toh Pradesh participate to do. That was far far greater celebration and festivity than uh, than than again these manufactured ideas of festivities. So uh, so and they were they were always encouraged. They were really really encouraged by my grandmother and my by mother. That I think would have would have contributed to uh, to that curiosity to 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 keeping that curiosity alive for a very long time. Science-based film. Um, I mean, it's been it's been an inspiration for so many years. Uh, and the next next one or two films definitely have a lot of science, more science than Ship of Thieves. I mean, Ship of Thieves, of course, has quite a bit of science. Uh, the blind photographer story, for example, there are a lot of tools, a lot of gadgets that she uses. The blind photographer story, maje nana nana instruments she she operates, na. I mean, the kind of the instruments science fiction che. I just the invent thay na Theoretically, it invent thay shake em che. पर अजीत सुधीर इन्वेंट था ना दिने फिल्म जो आप अच्छे मारे समाज तो थया जी बना लोगों साथे जेलों को एक दूसरे के आज वही ना हमने लगे जी कि आप लोगों को एक बना भी है पर ये समाज मरे होना थी पर यार जेने दी ये बना भी शकुन हो जी पर ये बना भी बना भी शेम अधिकारी दिवस वो मरे तो ये बिना ते आगरणी बहुत अनुप्रयत्न कर रही हूँ जो कॉन्स्टेंटली करें के शिव ऑफ थीसेस बहुत सस्ता हुआ बने भी अने सस्ता में किधर पची बनी अठी करोड़ की फिल्म थी अने जे जे हमने आमे जे फिल्म बनाई गया जब तुम बाढ़ नमनी जे फिल्म बनाई गया जब इन्हों बजट पंद्रह करोड़ चाहिए तो अठी करोड़ की पंद्रह करोड़ ना रस्ता में वो ख so, I wanted to share a science fiction film, one science fiction idea that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to share it with you. So, I wanted to share it with you. So, among other ideas, one idea is that I wanted to share it with you. Conceptually, it was a weak science fiction idea. So, I wanted to share it with you. Conceptually, I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to share it with you. पन अ पॉलिटिकल वगैरह इंटरेस्टिंग थे हमारे वहाँ के अनुवान फिल्मों पॉलिटिक्स वगैरह इंटरेस्टिंग थे कि जे आर्मा गेटिंग टाइप नीचे फिल्मों हुए हॉलीवुड में आर्मा गेटिंग थे लेकिन एक्चुअली बेटर एग्जांपल से ग्रेविटी ग्रेविटी वुड नहीं बेटर एग्जांपल कि ग्रेविटी टाइप नहीं फिल्म but with a with a with a very clear genre of filmmaking, with a very clear uh, the world is going to end kind of filmmaking. The Java Green Native and the JV film of the Interstellar of the the world is going to end. And then American GI Joes go and save the world. But uh, <laughs> but instead of American GI Joes, this time the heroes are these uh, Kanjivaram uh, saris wearing purse carrying uh, Indian women scientists uh, from Islam. So that's Super, well, that brilliant note. Thank you very much. This is from Gandhi to Gandhi. <laughs> uh, actually, just to share an anecdote, I was eight years old and then I was adopted into a family that my mother remarried. Uh, my mother remarried when she was uh, when I was 15. So I was born Modi and then we became Gandhi. <laughs> so yeah, there's hope for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Adesh Kumar Singh, and thank you, Anand. Next session, after Sharu Karma Chaitanya Chaitanya, Jai Vasavda, and Jai Shadhyaru, Amni Sathya Ashim, Aman Chupar. When you